Imagine being so savage that you actually incinerate your own tutor. Yeah, as a kid, but that's none of my business. Strife, let's talk about them. When we're talking about powerhouses in Marvel, there's this term called Omega Level. Strife is an Omega Level telekinetic and his telepathic powers might even surpass even Psylocke's. I'm not gonna lie, Marvel loves their clone. You got characters like Strife, who was a clone. Another case of Mr. Cyclops getting with a clone of Jean Grey is when they was infected with a techno-organic virus that almost killed him. Nathan was sent 2,000 years into the future to be healed. They feared the child would die, so they cloned a healthy copy of that child that had been infected by the virus. Apocalypse, the dictator that ruled this era, this possible future, sent his forces to kidnap the child whom Apocalypse sought for future use as a host body. When they retrieved the clone, thinking it to be the original, aka Cable, and Apocalypse named the boy Strife. Apocalypse boosted Strife's powers and strength over the following years, saving him to be the heir of his empire and all that good stuff you can read about right here. You can watch this video with conjunction with my Cable video I already made. He's like an insane version of that guy. That pretty much went sideways. He has super strength, extra durability, technology armored up, has telepathy, kind of all the stuff Cable has. They can give you an understanding of him here, how Strife possesses vast telepathic telekinetic abilities, telekinesis basically. Full extent is unknown even in him. He can also read the mind of virtually any individual on earth over vast distances, manipulate the thoughts and bodily functions of others, and shield his mind against probing. He could telekinetically levitate, disassemble, or move other beings or objects, and form defensive force fields. He was superhumanly strong, able to lift up to 10 tons, you know, the little pun that Marvel likes to use, even though characters can lift way more. Strife had access to vast technologies, including space stations and time travel cores and has used devices to absorb psychic powers of others. Strife wore a large suit of durable armor. You can see by how the grid gives you a little intent of what they want them to be. So even though they're similar, when it comes to genetics and stuff, both cables were raised in two entirely different ways. It's one of those else world stories that would be dope if it was translated to live action. It's like a one-off movie or something because of the setting, the tone, and things like that. But how strong are we talking when it comes to this guy? First of all, he has dope gadgets, like a dashboard that allows him to see all the mutants. Being a sort of cable, you gotta have ability to open portals through time. That's their starter pack. It can get broken because he can just summon dinosaurs in the middle of a battle. And if he's knocked unconscious, he automatically teleports to safety, like a suit safety measure thing when he's fighting the X-Men and stuff. And of course, his suit can fire beams. One could say paralysis type beams. His physicals is not what he strives in, but he still can throw people like Deadpool very far with one arm, literally using Wolverine as a weapon, fighting Cable, of course. This is probably going to be a common theme in this video, so just go ahead and get used to it. In this case, you can see him punching Cable, where Cable goes flying very far. Beings that have scuffled with Cable before, he can punch out on his own. Why would he even bother wearing a ballast suit if it wasn't at least bulletproof? You see the bullets bouncing off here in this occasion. It's only natural that we see him battle Apocalypse and his suit will stand blast from a powerhouse like this. Even punches from powerhouses like Colossus. One could say a medium end powerhouse. Notice how this guy has insane pain tolerance. Even after all this damage being impaled and everything, he still can blast people with his other abilities after such an attack. Gets blasted by huge stuff like this. Then pulls up on Deadpool and rip some limb from limb. I got a video about Warpath on the channel. He's scuffled with him. It's hard to get a good reading on where he ranks at, but he's really good with super strength. Blasted back Warpath. Can shield himself from Cable's bombs. Another occasion of him, of course, fighting Cable. This is about to be a pattern in this video. He has shields that can block Wolverine's claws. Characters like Bishop, I have videos about on the channel. He has Wolfstead blast from. This guy got blasted by Havoc and Cyclops. Two beings one could say with their full power blast could level planets if they felt like it. And if we're talking about fighting speed, of course he has that. Deflecting shots from bullets and stuff is a normal thing in Marvel. Another occasion of speed is how the bullets are being fired. And as they're in the air, he intercepts them mid-flight. Thanks to psionic type of abilities. No gun for you. It's hard to get a measurement on his raw speed, but it's implied... He can fly really fast and produce shockwave on his landing. Seems to be able to shield from multiple angles at the same time on some team busting stuff. And Wolverine, what do you think you're doing, buddy? Fighting speed allows him to dodge shots from Cable. While it is true his physicals and combat speed and reflexes are impressive, 
The main thing he shines at, I would say, would be his tele telekinetic type of ability and attacks of that such. That's what makes him such a threat. There's heavy writer intent and narrative to support why he's so strong. He might not have the most showings of this type of stuff of all time, but there's a reason why he's given a challenge to these X-Men type characters that have established lore, strength, and etc. And he's still a threat to him. Like he can just dissolve debris and stuff with his mind with ease thanks to his blast. In this particular occasion with Bishop, he precisely takes apart his arm. He even implied he could take apart organs if he really wanted to with his psionic ability. He was strong enough to briefly, let me say it again, briefly contain a cosmic being that was battling the Phoenix Force. That gives you an idea of his raw power. Characters like Rogue, who at different points of her career had permanent powers of powerhouses like Ms. Marvel, made her sleepy, aka one shot, and he can put shattered stuff that's shattered this many pieces back together pretty freaking precisely, might I add. He has enough raw blast power to dismantle space stations. He even has enough raw power to shake the freaking moon. Well, at least making the surrounding area shake. Dismantling the entire tower. This guy Stripe got his blast compared to Cable himself to the point where not only was his telekinetic ability being compared to Cable, but Cable said the power dwarfs his own feeble telekinetic ability. Please check out my Cable video I've made in the past, but Cable with his telekinetic ability has done this to Apocalypse before. Cable fought evenly with a powerhouse like Apocalypse, guys. Just let that sink in for two seconds, thanks to his skills and psionic abilities put together. Him saying it dwarfs him isn't really hard to believe, considering that Stripe is literally just him, another clone of him, right? So whatever this guy can do when it comes to raw blast power and etc., this guy should technically be able to, to do similar. I mean, we could technically take it a step further when it comes to Cable's full potential, straight up showing a light speed reaction, fighting light speed stuff, blowing up mountains, it's totally believable that Strife, based on the powerhouses he fought, can move planets out of orbit just like Cable can in his full potential. Nate Gray, which is basically another form of Cable I have a video about on the channel, had his power compared to the Phoenix Force, so at his full potential. They even imply they can blow out stars. Cable could. So moving planets, shaking moons, blowing out stars, briefly restraining cosmic beings, other clones of him like Nate Gray are being compared to the Phoenix Force. Cable just in general is a beast. Nate Gray, Strife, all in all. Which is why statements like this have so much value to them. Then we're talking about hexy cheat code stuff, turning off powers, you know, because your mind is where your powers activate from. If he can kind of manipulate that, he can kind of stop you from using your powers like against Gene and Cyclops here. Keeping your abilities at bay. Imagine being so hurt, even when a hole is in your stomach can just go in your head and make you a weapon to be a threat to your friends because he has that much psionic ability. Psionic beings like Psylocke, I have videos about on the channel. He forces her, countering her in the process. She's pretty freaking powerful too. He's so cheap with his abilities. He can force you to use your mutant power to teleport yourself away. He can make you heal him if you don't want to help him out. And he can make Wolverine stab himself, bruh. He uses his telepathy in a way that's really good in combat to help him be able to predict his opponent's next move. Your own thoughts will betray you. I know your moves, your strategies. And that's how he counters attacks. Starting to make beings take themselves out. And he can just make himself appear like normal local by doing like a psionic barrier to where they can't see him. Kind of like a disguise type thing, you know. His battle speech suggests that he's strong. I mean, he always fight in groups. Taking on Dark Riders for Apocalypse and stuff, soloing them by himself. And I'm pretty sure you've seen this guy Cable throughout this video. Strife and Cable go at it in a decently hard fight because he has to because Cable gotta fight this insane version of him, right? It only makes sense then having had to step in and etc. I showed a few of these panels earlier. Yet another team again will ring in an X-Force to really show his competence fighting more than one being with his telekinetic psionic abilities putting you in bubbles, making it hard to defend yourself, shooting himself while he's doing telekinetic stuff. Fighting teams, bruh. He's very strong. Yeah, you can see the bubbles. Then you got the occasion with the uncanny X-Force. You can see Psylocke in his group as well. Domino, like even heavier hitters like Colossus. He's fighting them all in pretty decently hard fights. Blocking their blasts with his telekinetic shields and stuff. Like he's very, he's not afraid to blast you while shooting himself. And he seems to be able to use telekinetic blast while he's doing telepathic type stuff, which is really good at multitasking. In this occasion with Psylocke, getting her out of his head, dispelling the illusion, etc from Colossus who's a brutish type character. All of this stuff is pretty impressive and he's kind of handling them all at the same time. Putting him in the air like that with telekinetic ability and then he got stabbed from behind and stuff you know. Yeah he's one of those characters that technically didn't be originated from the main 616 universe but Strife is still insanely strong and when it comes to psionic ability I would say definitely above Cable but also keep this in mind is that most of the time 
Cable is limited thanks to the techno organic virus, him fighting that halfway, but Stripe doesn't have such limitations. So not trying to make excuses, but that could be the reason why. But we saw how strong Cable can get when it's not limited at all, you know, moving planets and stuff like that. Stripe can shake moons and stuff of that such. So there's still powerhouses even with the limitation for Cable, I would say. But he's one of those characters that doesn't appear that much. And this is just about going to do it, everybody. What's up with Cable getting cloned? And what's up with Nate Gray and him having like other versions of them walking around and fighting everybody? You know what I mean? But I also got to give a shout out to everybody that has donated to the channel. It helps out a lot. Appreciate it, guys. Respect Strife. Make sure you check out my Nate Gray and Cable video after this. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other House Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.